Hi everyone, welcome back. In today's video, let's discover if you have a wounded inner child within. So before we get into that, let's define what or who exactly is the wounded inner child. Now, the wounded inner child is a part of you. It's a part of your personality. It is something that has been repressed and suppressed. So when you were a child or even a teenager, maybe something happened okay some traumatic event now it was too much it was too big and it was too overwhelming for your little brain to process it let alone understand it so the event has happened it is done and dusted but you haven't yet processed the negative emotions around it and these emotions are too much so this is actually a wonderful coping mechanism. What we all tend to do is that when that traumatic event is happening, we just lock up our emotions. You know, we lock them and we put them away. We compartmentalize that part of ourselves because it is too much to handle. So it is a surviving mechanism. It's a coping mechanism to carry on in that situation. So this has served you really well and let's say that the environment that you were growing up in was not great, it was abusive, right? So in that environment, this really helped you survive, locking away all your emotions and carrying on, yeah? So now, now that you're an adult, this child, this part of you, this part of your personality, your persona, it shows up. It shows up when life tests you or when life gets a little difficult or when life throws you a curveball. So maybe it was just one isolated event in your childhood or maybe it was a series of traumatic events. These events or this event has hurt you. You are wounded because of that. The wounds are emotional and you haven't dealt with these emotions yet. So these emotions show up in the form of triggers in your current adult life. Think of it like a big invisible emotional wound. It is all over your energy field, right? So you can't see it, but you can definitely feel it. So another person, any random person might accidentally touch you or touch against this wound and there's a big flare up and there is so much pain. Yeah, somebody says something to you and you get massively triggered because the pain, the wound hasn't healed yet. It is still fresh. You just can't see it. It is right there, the wounded inner child is just beneath the surface or just in your energy field, just waiting to explode as soon as it is triggered. So that brings me to my first point. If you have big emotional reactions to everyday life, that is the first sign that tells the tale of you having a wounded inner child within. So for example, you are getting ready to go out and your partner comes in and says come on hurry up we only have 15 minutes we cannot be late now this is a pretty standard conversation yeah but you have an intense reaction you get really angry and you lash out at your partner now after you lash out you think about the incident and you're like wait a minute the incident wasn't so big so why was my reaction so big? It is because maybe in your childhood, you were always getting a little late, you were a little slow, and your parents were always rushing you. Hurry up, hurry up, we're gonna get late, we're gonna get late, you always get us late. So the trigger is that, it's that wound, that emotional wound that hasn't been dealt with yet. So it is coming up in your present life. Yeah, so number one sign is having huge emotional reactions triggers to everyday life. And if you have huge emotional reactions to everyday life, you will also have huge emotional reactions when things go south or when things are not going your way. Okay, so this brings me to my second point, which is 
you experience a lot of negative emotions it's too much to handle and to numb yourself you have unhealthy coping mechanisms and addictions yeah you are prone to resorting to unhealthy coping mechanisms and falling into addictions so alcohol substance abuse binge eating screen addiction shopping overworking these are all addictions and unhealthy coping mechanisms and people who usually have a wounded inner child within they resort to these coping mechanisms my next point is chasing unavailability and we talk a lot about this on my channel so you tend to chase unavailable romantic partners yeah not just romantic partners but also in friendships you chase also in friendships you chase unavailable people even professionally you find yourself chasing unavailable people basically you're always kind of chasing unavailable unattainable people in life and it's not because you love chasing these people it's because the inner child in you the wounded inner child in you is pining for is chasing for is really wanting that love that attention and affection from that unavailable parent or that caregiver yeah so it's not that you like this person it is because the child in you wants that attention from that unavailable or abusive parent or caregiver whatever the case may be this brings me to my next point which is there is usually always a power struggle or a power dynamic in your relationships yeah so when it comes to marriage or a romantic relationship or even business relationships business partnerships or friendships even you find yourself in the one down position and you think the other person is in a one up position right the other person is a figure of authority and they are more powerful so it's not that they really are it's just that the wounded inner child in you is seeking these relationships where there is an authority figure that unavailable parent yeah so this may not necessarily be going on in the other person's head but this is definitely going on in your head and there's usually a power struggle in your relationships and in this power struggle you feel like the little one the little child and in this power struggle you feel like the little one the little child and you are not the one with authority you also have people pleasing tendencies to the max you're an overgiver and you have difficulty saying no and also you cannot set clear boundaries again in your childhood you were just trying to get the love affection and attention of that unavailable parent or parents or siblings or caregivers or whatever the case may be so as an adult you are also people pleasing trying to get affection attention love from people that way so this makes you an overgiver and also somebody who cannot say no easily and also someone who cannot establish boundaries here also it's the little child that is people pleasing fawning to gain approval and love from others you also struggle with your self identity and your self concept who am i why am i here there is confusion and chaos there is lack of clarity and the way you see yourself your self concept is not great you don't hold yourself in high regard you see yourself as a little person who should stay small as a person who doesn't deserve a lot as a person who's not worthy of a lot of love and abundance and all things amazing yeah and this ties in with my next point which is you struggle with self love self worth and self esteem so you did not feel loved when you were a little kid you did not feel the love it was inconsistent at best and it was conditional so the so the way they loved you was also conditional and inconsistent and not right so if they couldn't love me or did not love me i must not be lovable so how can i love myself so you don't have a blueprint of self love and most likely your parents or your caregivers did not love themselves either 
so you have no concept of self love that is why self love can be such a struggle for people who have a wounded inner child within it's so difficult to love yourself because nobody showed you that nobody did that for you when you were a little kid so it's a foreign concept you also feel left behind in life this is a tell tale sign others are doing so well others are way ahead of me and i feel really left behind under earning because of this it is a big sign that you have a wounded inner child within you're late to everything you're late to the party that is the feeling that you have and it's a sinking feeling it does not feel good the wounded inner child shows up the most in romantic and intimate relationships but it also shows up in professional relationships in your friendships in your family of origin it's because you keep getting triggered you keep getting emotionally triggered all the time and this situation these triggers these flare ups this wounded inner child cannot be placed in the adult world it's less than ideal so you need to you absolutely must start the process of healing the wounded inner child otherwise you're not going to have fruitful successful and healthy relationships now i know this sounds pretty heavy and dark and it is i'm not going to lie i'm not going to sugarcoat it but as you start healing the child within miracles happen your relationships will improve you will start feeling better you will find a lot of peace and inner child healing can be intense but also it can be a lot of fun i am going to be doing an in-depth training on inner child healing in my course stop chasing unavailability so you can sign up for that or you can work with me one on one if you want to explore inner child healing further inner child healing starts when you acknowledge that there is a wounded inner child within me so that is step number 1 step number 2 would be to stop numbing yourself allow yourself to feel all those negative emotions now i know this can feel like a lot so there is no shame do not hesitate to get professional help because you might need someone to hold your hand through this if you would like to work with me one on one reach out to me my email address is mentioned in the description box down below that is it for today i hope this video was useful don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i will see you back here very soon with another video